Hey guys, Zerka here and welcome back to my Mill Career Mode series. Uh, we start off this episode looking at the squad reports uh, because I haven't, really, I haven't really shown them in quite a while. Um, see here, Spies has gone up uh, plus 3 and is now worth 400,000 at the age of 19. Uh, you got Nathan Ake who is now worth 2.2 million, he's gone up plus 3 and he's still only 18 years old. Uh, you got Shane Lowry who I've been had for a long time and I didn't even use him last season. He's gone up plus 3, he's now worth 1.4 million. Carly Osman hasn't changed at all, but he's 25 years old, so that's quite that's probably expected. Um, Gabriel's gonna plus two, he's worth 650,000, is and he's only at the age of 20 still, so he's still got a lot of time to grow. Uh, Jimmy Abdu's 29, he's actually gonna up plus one. Uh, so Abdu's really someone who's gonna have to unfo gonna have to unfortunately uh, offload at some point soon. Yeah, he's gonna up plus three, he's worth 2.7 million now, and he's uh, age 24, so again, he's gonna be someone who's gonna be going soon. Uh, Piazza's gonna up plus five, worth 3.6 million, and he's only at the age of 20, so he's still got a lot of growth yet left. Uh, David Edwards going up plus five, uh, 3.6 million at the age of 20. Romeo Vidal worth 7 million, only 17 years old, he's going up plus four. And I don't think we're going to be able to afford 7 million pounds on a player uh, as of yet. Unless we can sell Wallison for a considerable amount of money, I doubt we'll be able to get Vidal, which is heartbreaking because look at his stats. 94 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. It's just crazy. He's a crazy player. And he's only 17 years old and he's already at 75 and worth 7 million. Like... Just think how much he's going to grow. Like he needs to be a player we need to get, and I, I don't know how we're going to do it, but I want to get him. And we're going to have to try and work out a way of getting him. You guys have to try and teach me about getting him. Uh, Wallison is na uh, now worth 5.5 million. He's got plus four, and he's age 25. Uh, so that is obviously the reason why we need to offload Wallison soon. He's worth 5.5 million. Be interesting to see if we can get how much we can actually get for him. I'm guessing we could only get 10 million for him. Uh, Liam Trotter is worth 2.7 million, and he's uh, gone up plus three. Uh, Chris hasn't changed at, at all. Uh, Chris Edge, 27 years old, so he's probably another player that we might have to uh, offload at some point soon. Uh, Jake Wright, who I signed a free agent, is going to have plus one. He's worth one million somehow. I don't know how he's worth one million. Uh, Benzia is already worth 2.5 million, and he's 70, he's 70 rated, plus one, and uh, 19 years old. And we signed him for what? £650,000 plus a player that was worth 400 k So let's say we signed him for one million. So he's worth 2.5. The profit on that already within like months. Not even months, weeks. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I guess there's not really any of the other players that actually care about and really care about win or shit. Because not really players that are actually growing or even worth anything. They're pretty much just players need to offload. Now look at our monthly scouting update from our scout and see what kind of players he's found. Um, as you can see, we've got a 14-year-old here, a defender. And uh, we could looks like he can play in several positions, five positions there. Look at that, 94 stand tackle, 94 strength, 93 spin speed, and 91 mark. And a potential of up to 94. So he's a player we're definitely going to have to uh, have another... So uh, oh, wait. They're only going to have to sign. Uh, I was about to say continue scouting, but you guys obviously told me, and this is obviously where I learned not to uh, continue scouting and to, no, not to sign. No, yeah, where is where I learned to continue not to continue scouting and to sign the players if they're good. See, I've just rejected players. That, I was basically rejecting players that we didn't have uh, potentials over 85, like maximum potentials. Uh, we're going into a game here against uh, Swansea, who are top of the league, and uh, obviously this is going to be a very tough game because Swansea have literally dominated this uh, season. They've, ki they've just killed off every team they've played. I've seen, I've seen any resu results on the sideboard. They've been winning like 4-0 and like they hardly been ever even conceding goals. I think they've lost, still only lost like one game throughout the whole season. So my whole aim for this game was either just to get a draw against them or get a lucky goal because they was actually they were a very strong side and uh, there's the amount of chances in this game a few and far between for both sides. It's very much a uh, midfield dominated game just uh, switching possession here and there. And uh, they managed to break through there on the counter attack, and uh, some lucky tackles and some lucky bubbles got them through. And uh, Britain managed to score there from a pass cross goal with a trampy goal, but that's how they do it. And I just couldn't seem to find a way through. You see, like Romain Vidal here couldn't even get, his, get past that defender there with his pace, and usually he can. And uh, I had a few other chances, and I just couldn't seem to find the net. Like Henry got through, through here and put it wide, and went for the near post, and it just didn't go work for me. So I tried to do the old um, triple substitution in order to like just get my team going just to try and see if I could like, find some new ways through with these new players but I couldn't get through at all and that game ended 1-0 so it's not a bad loss to Swansea but it's definitely a game that I wanted to at least try and snip, like snack a snack steal a point from I couldn't even think of the word there snack a point we can see there if you look at the league table on the right hand side we're on 61 points uh, Norwich are on 69 so they're 8 points above us we're not going to catch up with Swansea they're on 80 points they're looking like they're actually going to hit 100 points at this rate and we look like we're pretty solid in the playoffs so I'm pretty sure we can Say we're almost guaranteed playoffs as long as we keep somewhat of a decent form going throughout the rest of the season. 
Uh, we're going to get a look at these two emails here from my physiotherapist and see that uh, Fuentes is back from his injury and Keo is back from his injury. Remember, they both got injured in the same game, both with four month long injuries. So it's quite good to have Keo back. Obviously, we're getting towards the end of the season now, and uh, it might be a nice addition to have Keo to replace Edwards there. And now I can switch in Keo and Edwards because Edwards has played really good this season. And if Keo wasn't injured, I probably wouldn't have had found how found out how good Edwards actually is. So in a weird way, get Keo getting injured is actually quite a good thing to happen. So that's always quite cool. Uh, but we picked up a goal there in the 35th minute to get the thing started, get the ball rolling. And obviously, Romavidal scoring. Romavidal just a beast. And I don't, I don't know. I think if you try to count how many times I've said how good Romavidal is in this series, I think it would be almost countless. So it, the amount of times I've said it is just crazy. I just can't get over how good he was. When I when I saw him, even when I signed him, I was just like, oh my god, look at them stats. And then he's, I've, I've, I've like played with him, and he's even better than I ever thought he would be, and it's just crazy. But uh, we, that game was a one nil, and um, I think it finished one nil. I just yeah, it finishes one nil, and I didn't actually show many highlights in that game purely because there wasn't any. And like usually, I, I sit there and I skip through all the games, and I just try and find any shots that uh, somewhat look like they could go in, or there was a, a decent chance. So there wasn't any. Like the goal I scored was pretty much it, and there's a few shots that went wide and here and there, and the rest of the shots were just awful. Nothing looked like he was actually going to go in. And uh, that's about it. So we then look at our youth squad. And you see here we've got some nice players. We've got, the hit, uh, we've got that Nuno, who's 14, who we just got from that last game report. And he's a uh, maximum potential of 94. Well, I think I went and signed... No, I didn't. I don't remember who I signed here. But he got. I think I released one of the players. I think it might be this Rob Morgan guy, the one who's 15. I think I released him purely because I saw that he was only 82 rated. Uh, or 82, 82 maximum potential. Let me just make sure I've been right before I even say anything. I'm just sitting here waiting for me to do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. There we go. Finally. Um, but yeah, uh, we look at the league table now. And uh, we are currently in third as we've always been. Uh, we're six points off of Norwich now after that win against Coventry. Now, so they must have got a draw. Uh, Swansea have won again. You see that 26 wins, seven draws, and only one loss. Conceding only 18 goals and scoring 71. Like, they've just been dominating. This, like, they've just been dominating. There's no way they're not going to go up. And uh, pressing the bottom of the league there with only 19 points, 25 losses. They've had a shocking season by the looks of it. Uh, we're going to our next game against Sheffield Wednesday here. And... Um, um, and I think Sheffield Wednesday were placed around uh, 14th or 15th in the t t table, just after looking at that one really quickly. Um, uh, so it's not going to be the toughest of games. It's definitely a game we need to get the three points from. If I don't get the three points in this game, I'd be very disappointed. And I'm nearly got the ball rolling pretty early on from Everdell there, but he hit that slightly wide. And we got into the 31st minute now, and Edwards passes it to Everdell. He does that nice uh, little uh, dummy through his legs, which I love doing on the computer. And I love doing it against kids that aren't too good at defending online. But doing it against a computer is so effective. Uh, I've noticed a couple of things that are a lot more effective than I thought they would be uh, against a computer. And that is shot fakes, so obviously B and A or X and A, and uh, the dummy holding down RB and letting it go through your legs when the boy is approaching you. Uh, they, work, they both work really well against the defenders in... Uh, career mode. Um, I could fuck up the game I was playing there. But Ravidale picks up his second goal of the game to make it 2-0 for us there. Again, doing that nice RB dummy to let it go through his legs. And then in the 59th minute here, Cragno goes crazy, comes out a goal and takes out both their player and their own player. And uh, picks up a booking for that. I was, I was kind of expecting a red card, but I don't think... They, the goalkeeper didn't even get sent off in this game. Because I don't think I've ever seen a goalkeeper get sent off. And when the time, when a goalkeeper does have a yellow card, if that was to happen and he already, he'd already been booked, you can always guarantee they wouldn't have got anything. Nothing would have happened. Go into the 77th minute here, and uh, Piazon comes down the left and puts it in. And Be 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 Benzia. Benzia gets his head on that. Uh, I think that's scoring his. Is that his first goal for Mirwall? I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, yeah, that is his first goal for Mirwall, I'm going to say. And uh, that makes it 3 0 for us. And that game ended 3 0. So that was a good result. I mean, purely because it was 3 0, so that adds to our goal difference. And uh, it means that we could be closing in on that second place. We're getting closer to it. And if Norwich slip up, we might actually have a chance of being snit like. Steal, I nearly said snake in there again. Stealing that, stealing that second place off them right at the final uh, line. I mean, that would obviously be a lot better than going uh, through the playoffs. It was obviously, playoffs is risky. And as much as I'm happy to be in the playoffs, I'm not happy as well because it means that it's down to one game. And you know what my luck is like on FIFA? Like, you just know that something's going to go wrong. And I could get to the final and I'll lose. And I just don't want that to happen because I have to sit in the championship for another season. And then next season, we probably would dominate it next season. And... Be, I think it'd be a lot more entertaining for you guys if I can get that second place and just go up and get promoted. So otherwise, if I don't get promoted, I just can see I don't want the series to be boring for you guys to watch another whole series season in the championship. Uh, but that is the end of today's episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like. They really do help me out leaving likes. They really help out this channel out. And um, if you want to check out my uh, new Ultimate Team series that I've recently started, there is a link to that on the screen now just on that recommended video it's like a little uh, spotlight thing if you click on it it will take you straight to that video and if you missed on the other ones there'll be a link to the playlist on that video somewhere 
Um, if you're not subscribed to it already, there's a link to my Let's Play channel as well. It's that little green box that says Zerker on it. Uh, if you click on that, it'll take you to my Let's Play channel, and that has stuff like Minecraft. I think I'm going to be doing like a Dead Space 3 or something. Let's, uh, let's play on that sometime soon. So if you're interested in that kind of content, then please do go check that out. And as always, uh, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. Uh, goodbye.